Hi, Stephen. I'm owner disowner and go Jared. Jared's tech. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to Jared, you know, make sure to, to uh, subscribe to his channel. I'll put a link in the description below anyhow. So we're at CES 2020. Can't believe it's a year since we went to the last one. Yeah, it was quick. It's flown by. And uh, of course, last year, you know, it was the launch of RTX graphics cards. And, you know, we've gone through all of that testing numerous laptops. It's old news now. So it is old news. So what is the current news? Well, I think well, let's just start off, you know, we'll go through some, some of the manufacturers or some of the key points or things we remember. What do you think, Jared, is the, the main points for you? Well, the main point of all CES, I guess, seems to be uh, AMD and the Ryzen Zen 2 processors. That's the big main news, I suppose. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I mean, we've seen some, uh, you know, desktop uh, processors and laptops. Yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty crazy as well. Up to 3,900, 12 cores. Yep, 12 cores, 24, 24 threads. Uh, yeah, it's pretty nuts. So, but it's 65 watts, uh, so we're gonna see some great uh, performance, you know, for any content creators on that. That's gonna be fantastic, you know. Of course, you know, Intel Comet Lake 10th Gen i9, there goes Lenovo Y740S, advertise that um, up to five gigahertz clock rate. So that's again another, you know, good processor for content creators and also even gamers, you know, at that clock rate, it's gonna be pretty, pretty neat. So we've got quite a few things coming coming forward. I think expect, you know, around about springtime, we could start seeing a lot more announcements being made and um, more laptops uh, available to everybody. Now you um, you went to ASUS, having the chance to go there. What uh, was note at the ASUS for you? What did you like there? Yeah, it was one of the first places I went to after arriving. Uh, the main things I looked at were the two tough laptops, so the A15 and A17, 15 inches and 17 inches respectively. Uh, kind of similar to the last gen tough series, but obviously upgraded to Ryzen 4000 CPUs, so up to eight cores, 16 threads, which is, you know, all you could, the only way you could get that before was with the Intel i9 top of the line kind of deal. So that's nice because in theory those will probably be somewhat less expensive than an i9 machine. Yes, I mean yes. that's yet to be seen but I would expect that. I think it's key, uh, AMD's putting a lot of pressure on Intel. Hmm. About time, isn't it really? Yeah, it's good. You know, I mean, more us. competition means we win. No, yeah, exactly. But I do feel that Intel are, you know, trying to press everybody down not to to move forward with these AMD yeah, too bad. designs, but hopefully AMD will keep up or keep pressuring. Roll over. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. The uh, other thing with those laptops is uh, the 90 watt hour battery. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, I mean at MSI, I get the, uh, we've got the you know, the brochure here. They're a very nice brochure, and you know many of the laptops are 99.9 .9 watt hour batteries. And I think that's yeah, it's good to see more battery as a. I don't know if it's a trend, but. There have been a few that have much larger than last time, which is good to see. Yeah, I mean, no one's really complained that they have too much <laughs> battery life, do they? Really? Oh, I've got too much. <laughs> you Take know. it away. So, I don't want yeah, it. For, for sure. <laughs> now, I, th I, mean, I, I did go to MSI when um, it was fairly quiet. And what I liked, they had some you know, good custom designs. I don't know if you can see it in the picture here, but so I might have shown it in this video, and I'll show it in mine. You know, some custom skins up patterns on the uh, the laptops which you can buy differentiated like a space pattern on also a ferrari red on the gt76 yeah the red looked good that looked pretty sharp didn't it yeah, yeah. and of course they uh, had uh, the bravo 15. yeah it was weird they uh i mean i hadn't seen that announced or heard of it anywhere they didn't no. mention it in the presentation i didn't notice it until i was walking around and i saw it sitting next to the alpha 15 and i was like what's this it's like bravo 15 i was like okay it said it was Ryzen 4000 CPUs, and I was like, well, I guess it's another Ryzen MSI laptop. And I thought it looked better than the the Alpha 15. I was a little bit disappointed with how that oh, looked. Oh, really? I liked, I preferred the Alpha. Is that right? People in my comments seemed to think the uh, Bravo looked too much like a GF, and it was just, like, boring and... Well, the thing know. is the Alpha. I mean, the, the, the symbol of the Phoenix thing on the lid, that was a sticker. So the Bravo has the that mine too, peeled off. but it's, it's, uh, it's a bit different, and it's silver. So it's silver. It looks but a bit nicer. It didn't seem to be a sticker, though. I didn't try and get my fingernails under it on the show floor, I admit, so I'm not sure. I did. Oh, you did? I did, and it didn't seem to be a sticker. So uh, I don't think it'll peel off. Mine peeled off the Alpha within a, within a week. 
Oh. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have that. Kind of crap. Mine, mine's still on. Yours is still on, all right. And also there was a 17-inch mini LED laptop yeah. there. With... There's the Creator 17, That's and it has right. the mini LED panel, which goes up to 1,000 nits, so... Yeah, you know, what, gonna need some what sunglasses. benefit is 1,000 nits? Well, it gives you HDR 1,000. Oh, okay. So in order to get that, it needs to be able to, like, peak. I don't think it's about sustained brightness. It's more about, like... You know, if you're watching something and there's an explosion and it needs to get brighter real fast, I think for that kind of thing, I guess for HDR video editing could be useful. It could be useful, yeah. I don't think it'll be like something everyone needs, but yeah, it's probably just one of those nice. For to a general gamer, it's probably not going to make much difference. Is it? Probably yeah. not. Plus, I don't know. I, I think they only had 4K as well, so you know, probably 60 hertz. Now I did hear because we, we we did go to see Clevo as well, and they told me that uh, that panel is 24 watts. Oh, okay. So it's quite a lot of power. And I was thinking, because also, it, you know, the convention center here, there was a 135-inch micro LED 1,000-nit TV. And I was thinking, how many watts is that then? If this... All of them. 17-inch left of 24 watts, that'd be like a, a kilowatt. That's all the watts. <laughs> you know, we're trying to save money here, aren't we? But, uh, I don't know. Now, in the, in the convention center, there's Razer. Now, of course, you went to their separate event, but I actually went to the show there, and they, they were dem demonstrating like a, a lot of esports racing simulating there, and that was quite neat. Now, they don't make that themselves, but they're going to you know, do partnerships with the, the manufacturers of the seat and the, the hydraulic rams at esports, and that do some cross-marketing and things. But the only thing of note they had was that, um, which I thought was quite neat, like the Razer Core PC. That were, yeah, the it? PC was interesting, because like, every time I've had a video with the eGPU enclosure. They're always like, people always comment, you know, I can get a PC that's smaller than that. So I guess Razer have done that. They've turned the, the design into a PC. It's true. I mean, I told the guy, I mean, actually, for a while back, if you don't know that, I did try and start a little business doing little PCs like that. And, uh, you know, that's something I always wanted to dream with, dream to, but, you know, you have to buy stuff from Micro Center or Best Buy and do it yourself. But yeah, anyway, that was pretty neat. And of course, they had uh, the, uh, Handheld gaming devices, Android based. Yeah. You know, so that's that. that. Other than that, though, it didn't have much else. They're going to have, have three, uh, 300 nit. That's another thing we saw quite a lot of 300 nit panel laptops, didn't we? You mean 300 hertz? Uh, 300 hertz, sorry, not yeah. 300, 300 hertz. Yeah, 300 hertz, yeah. So that was. Because uh, 240 is not enough for me. I need, I need more. Yeah, but didn't you do a test? Didn't it improve your shooting <laughs> accuracy? Yeah, so I did a. They had a demo at NVIDIA. Uh, they had, so they have 360 hertz desktop panels. So at the moment, laptops only go up to 300, I mean, only 300. I know, right? So they have 360 on the for the desktop monitors. And at the for demonstration, they had a, like two side by side, and one was uh, 60 hertz and one was 360 hertz. And you could flip the 60 hertz over to 144, 240, and then 360. And when you actually have it side by side, and you see like an esports title running at like 300 fps you can, tell, you the can tell the difference it did actually look clearer on the 360 hertz wow. i didn't expect that but you know the difference is like while it looks better you're only still going to get a benefit in games that can actually hit frame rates that high and that's still only going to be like dota csgo Overwatch. yeah you, you, you're not going to get it in like battlefield no it's absolutely not, happen, not. no yeah. which i think turns people off like that sort of refresh rate because they see it and they're like well, it's just a gimmick. They're just trying to get more money out of me, which, you know, could be true. But at the same time, I think for some games, it does have its place. It just depends what you're doing with it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing. I don't know if you went had a chance, but did you go to the uh, creative booth? It was next to MSI. No, yeah. I didn't, didn't see it. And uh, I mean, I've always been a great fan of speakers on laptops and, and even just general speakers full time. But, you know, it's just they, um, they're, they're demoing their... Uh, Super X5, it's called. And, is it um, super? You know, I think it was one of the best things at the show. I mean, uh, of course, normally when you wear headset headphones, you know, it's pumping stereo or whatever into your, just in the center of your head, and you hear it inside your head. Here it simulates 7.1 surround sound uh, as if you're in a room, so it creates that space. And they've got an app that they photograph your ear. Right, because everybody's ears are different. Mine, mine are huge, right? So, <laughs> and then that tailor makes the, the the experience for you. And certainly, that was like, my God, this is like totally different. Huh. And 
you know, I'm going to probably review one of the, the, the headsets. It's looking like $169, but it's fantastic. And also in gaming, you can hear the footsteps much better than the regular headset that did comparisons. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I need every advantage I can get, so I'm going to get that <laughs> so do I. 300 hertz panel on these fucking headphones. <laughs> I'll be set then. So that was worth stopping by, yeah, for sure. Now, who else? Dell. I think Dell was a little bit of a disappointment, wasn't it, really? They just had the G5, which was, I personally thought was very plasticky. I know it's geared towards perhaps, you know, 799 starting price for a budget gamer, but... Yeah, what do you think? I mean, it's a bit different compared to the Intel-based G5. The design's very similar to the G3 in terms of how it looks, like, aesthetically. Yeah. But it's kind of like they just got that stuck in the, uh, like, AMD. AMD CPU and the Ryzen GPU, and they're like, yep, we're done. I mean, that might not be the case, but that's just the impression I got. Yeah, and of course, they, they, you know, as for press, they didn't send any details through, and they didn't mention mm. that the, the, the experience live thing, because, of, you know, we think that was, you know, Intel-sponsored. Um, so, you know, we just saw it briefly, and, and to be honest, not many people were looking at it, were they? Yeah, but at the event, I guess, I mean, it wasn't really clear unless you knew you were looking for it. It was kind of just this G5 on a, like, little stand, and then there was, like, this little plaque up in the yeah. top that said, in little text, AMD Ryzen and 5000 series GPUs. There's nothing at all, and, uh, you know, anything new from Alienware, there was nothing apart from the... Uh, the UFO <laughs> concept, yeah. doesn't it? You they, know. Just, they just had the old stuff on, sure. So, yeah, that was a little bit disappointment. Um, now, you uh, you, be, you say you've been to Acer, or are you going there tomorrow? Um, tomorrow. Tomorrow, I guess. You can't, we can't comment on that. Mm, not yet. Um, Lenovo. I did have a good chance to go around the whole Lenovo, and again, there's not much in the way of gaming. Of course, they, they announced that 740S as being a gaming laptop, which it isn't. Uh, no dedicated GPU, but it does have that... Uh, fast CPU. So it's, I do see the benefit there, you know, for a content creator <clears throat> that wants to hook it up to an external graphics solution. Mm. But it's got a small battery, isn't it? It's like a 60-watt hour battery. I, don't I didn't actually get the battery size, yeah, so I'm not sure. Yeah, it's like 60-watt hour battery. And it has four fans in there. Oh, really? To help keep that uh, clock up at 5 gigahertz, as they say. So, mm. so I um, should be getting one of those. But it also had some quite interesting things. I, what I liked was the ThinkBook, which has an e-ink display. You know, if, uh, if you want to take quick notes, that was pretty nice. And of course, I had a foldable laptop too. Oh yeah, the X1 Fold. The X1 Fold, yeah. yeah now, uh, it was and okay. It, I thought it was better than Dell's concept. Yeah, yeah. So I saw all of them up close, and the Lenovo one was better. It was better, was it? Yeah. I mean, it's got a keyboard that, you know, just rests yeah, on there, got, and it, it's it got charges magnets. up. It's magnets. got magnets, and it connects, and it charges up just by. But it's not strong enough. The magnets aren't strong enough for you to hold it up. No, and it'll it, come it off. just comes off. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But that was an interesting laptop pair. Uh, yeah, I think they've got the right idea. They told me it was going to come out in August, so they've actually got like a real product that looks good. And they said, you know, they're taking the time to make it good because if they're putting the X1 brand on it, you know, they want it to be a good product. Yeah. Well, that's what they said at least. So yeah, that's, we'll see. So that'd be that's interesting. The only main the main things are noting, you know, gaming monitor and that type of thing. But I did go by Samsung because you know we don't hear much of Samsung, do we, on uh, on laptops? And again, there's nothing gaming wise. But that has a, an interesting concept. I thought where you can you, you put your phone on the uh, the touchpad and it's must be a Qi wireless charger in there, so it charges up your phone. Did you see that? No. I thought that's quite useful. So it sits on the touchpad? It sits on the touchpad. Can you still use, you still can't use the touchpad anymore? No, you can't, <laughs> unless your phone uses a touchpad. Well, I was thinking maybe you'd do something cool where it like turns your phone screen into the touchpad. I know, that'd be quite good, wouldn't it? Yeah, but I suppose it's if you're going, to the, going for a, the toilet or something, <laughs> you want to quickly put your phone down. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, or you've got, your, you've got a keyboard, perhaps. I don't know, saves something a little bit away, but I thought it was different. Yeah, it's it shows, different. You know, we've got to innovate, don't we? You know, something, something different's always good. What else can you do in a laptop, to be honest? You know, and that's what we're looking for. Make it for. fold in half. Oh. <laughs> exactly, put it in your pocket. So I think we are seeing some of the, you know, the foldable laptops. I'll tell you one thing. I mean, I've seen this, is, you know, you might have heard of the LG display speakers, where, where the, you have exciters inside the, 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 the panel, and uh, they vibrate inside the panel. And of course, you get like, uh, in fact, Lenovo demo. I think it's Lenovo. Yeah, they had one at Lenovo. Yeah, yeah. So you, uh, you get a sound will move across the screen which is quite nice. I had a bit of a demo going there, and I can see that happening perhaps in laptops, not in the, you know, perhaps another year ahead. At some point, they might do speakers 
I guess it depends screen. how thick it needs to be to get that in. Yeah, I was wondering that, yeah. But I'm sure to slim these things down. Yeah, eventually. Again, how loud will it get? But they're always looking for different things to, to do. And I thought it was quite a neat concept. TVs have it now, you know, so... What else? I, I did see some quite uh, amazing thing. I showed Java this actually. There was a uh, <clears throat> a robot playing table tennis. Yeah, he's kicking this guy's ass. That was cool. That was cool. Different. Um, there's a lot of VR headsets and things, and I, I'll post a separate video on on a few of those. But that was uh, that was certainly more pronounced than last year, I thought. But as usual, it's you know, there's a lot of walking around, uh, a lot of work. Um, a lot of walking for nothing in many cases. Yeah, you go to some places and it's just like, oh, you've got nothing, you, you walk straight out. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you, you get that. And of course, a lot of these things are still appointment only, you know, which is a bit frustrating. <clears throat> but, you know, Jared's put down quite a few videos on that. So, yeah, make sure to stop by and, you know, check out Jared's channel. I'd like to thank you for watching. Have you got anything else to add? No. That's it. All right. See you. Bye.